like <coughs> that you are an individual and the world is separate. That's the, that's the root. The root of all dreaming is separation. It is the dream of separation. And so, in that dream, there could be nothing else but the dream of separation, which, which brings with it the whole uh, ignorance and idea that there is such a thing as time and space, destiny, maybe God or a deity of some sort, another energy that, that, drop, that, that guides you through life. All those things come out of that dream of separation. The idea that life has meaning that is in the dream. That's all dreamt. Meaning, purpose, that you have a life script. It's all dreamt. It's all dreamt out of the one basic initial dream, I am a separate individual. All of those ideas about karma and responsibility consequence of action, cause and effect, all of those are dreamt <laughs> ideas. It's a dream. Liberation is the awakening from the dream. Liberation is the end of the dream art. Liberation is the end of the story. Liberation is the end of the idea There's, that there is such a thing as someone and there is such a thing as free will and choice at any level that there is such a thing as a deity. Liberation is the end of the idea that there's such a thing as karma, purpose, or meaning. Liberation is totally indescribable. It cannot be described. It cannot be known. It's nothing to do with awareness or knowing. Liberation, you could say, the nearest you can get to say what liberation is, Liberation is simply beingness. It is simply what is happening. It's not what is happening to someone, because there is no one. It is only what is happening. So in this room at the moment, if you believe that you're a person, then everything that's happening to you is simply what is happening. Everything that's happening to you, sitting on a chair, hearing this voice, seeing this or seeing whatever, everything that's happening right now, <laughs> is what you see. Without you. What you seek is what's happening. Now, even the feeling that you don't get this, <coughs> or the thought that you don't get this, is also being. <coughs> Even the frustration of feeling that you, know, you can't get this, this is also being this. Even the longing and the sadness and the agony of not being able to grasp this is also being this. All there is, is being. Whatever is happening is being. And that is what is sought. What is sought is so simple and obvious <laughs> that it remains hidden from the dreamer. All the time there's a dreamer, all the time there's a seeker trying to find or grasp this, it remains utterly, utterly hidden. And it remains hidden by being everything. It doesn't hide behind a bush. It is the bush. It, doesn't, it remains hidden by being everything. So, we can talk together this afternoon and we can share concepts about this. We are, we're just friends talking together about this amazing and revolutionary possibility. A lot, of, a lot of minds will reject this. This is the cornerstone that is always rejected. In all scriptures, hidden in all scriptures, in all gospels, in all literature about where the art <laughs> This is there, somewhere hidden. What's on top of that is the dogma and the belief of Christianity and all of those things, which have absolutely nothing to do with liberation. They're just out of the mind. So we can talk together and share concepts 
and clarity can arise, but clarity and understanding is not liberation. It's just another thing that happens to the dreamer. So the dreamer can be totally clear, but still liberation hasn't happened, awakening hasn't happened. And the other thing I just want to say is that talking actually really in a sense is an excuse for something else to happen. It's a sort of, you know, nothing loves talking to nothing about nothing. <laughs> because something else far more powerful is going on. <clears throat> the dreamer is in contraction. The dreamer lives in a contracted dream. Liberation is boundless. So this is something to do with an energetic shift. It's nothing to do with a conceptual shift. It's nothing to do with concepts and understanding the mind. It's energetic. It seems that's sort of hard with the fact that um, in, in the dream, you're not sure what you're talking about. And you're yes. You know, Human beings. beings. But yet that's within the dream. But no. No. So there's no humans. <laughs> yeah, but liberation is that there is no one. There's no me. Liberation is the death of me. Liberation is a loss. It's not a gain. You know, there isn't someone and liberation's up on a cloud and it sees that they're worthy and comes down and fills them with, you know. Liberation actually is a loss of something. It's a terrible loss for the individual, because it's the loss of the individual, and it's the end of the dream. But it is interesting that we call people human beings. So I just want to say, for me, some people use the word consciousness. It's not a word <coughs> I like. So I use the word being. All there is is being. Which is oneness, which is the bridge. Being, being is subjective. 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 <coughs> well, you could say in, in duality, in separate, in the dream, there is subject. There seems to be subject and object. So I'm here and you're there, or I am a seeker and enlightenment is something I would like, which is you know the the, the futile idea, you know of there being a seek, something called a seeker that needs to find something called enlightenment is a subject-object situation. In liberation, there is, you could say there is only subject. Yeah, there is only this. There's no one. This doesn't happen to anyone. There is now no, no longer anyone. The dream of there being someone is no more. And all there is, is being. Or, in simple terms, all there is, is aliveness. And there's no one that is alive. So life isn't happening to someone. It never did, of course. That's a dream. In the dream, I am someone that life is happening to. In liberation, there is life. And life here. Well, it depends what you mean by here. In a sense, there is no longer a here. It just is life. There's no location. It's not life happening to a location, it's just life. So also you could say that this is no longer anybody's body, obviously, because there isn't anybody. It never was anybody's body, by the way. <laughs> so it's, a, it's just body. It's being body. So it's just happening. It doesn't have any location, it, it's just happening. It's like everything that's going on in this room at the moment is simply being. So there's nothing to look for. <laughs> How can there be anything to look for? Because already it's happening. What you're looking for is happening. Uh, well, a person sees other people in a, from the point of separation. So there's a reason they see, they think the other person is something else. In liberation, 